Oh, hi there. So, you're here because a friend or significant other or colleague, a member of your family, church or dogging community has told you they're into board games, they're a board gamer. And that's got to make you nervous because surely anybody will be done with Monopoly and Snakes and Ladders after being a kid. What if I were to tell you a secret? that these days board games and card games are actually amazing and you're going to find that hard to believe because you've got three preconceptions starting with this one. Aren't there like six board games? There's, uh, there's Risk, there's Monopoly, there's Kaplunk, Connect Four and the one where the mustard man kills people with a fire poker. No, actually new board games come out every single week from countries as far flung as Germany, Japan and yeah, America and the UK. And some of these board games are for families, some are rubbish, but lots aren't. In fact, lots are absolutely fantastic. Let's look at preconception number two, which is that board games are boring. And actually, they're just not. Let's look at a game that came out just a few months ago, all right? This is Ladies and Gentlemen, a French game, a team game, where half the players play baffled Victorian gentlemen trying to make money at a pretend kiddie stock market in real time, and the other half of the table play their wives, trying to use that money to assemble the best outfit. It even has additional rules for maids, gossip, and a player who is a single lady. Uh, now, see, this, this game might sound mad to you. It might sound like a cross between uh, Bridge and OK Magazine, but it probably doesn't sound boring. And that's the truth of it, all right? The fact is that the table, as a medium, can be used for anything. You just pick the board games out there that entertain you. Let's not forget that poker is a board card table game type thing, and no one would say that's boring, which brings us on to point number three. Board games are for kids, and they're just not. Labyrinth War on Terror is a simulation where one person runs the American War on Terror as of 2001 and another plays militant Islamic fundamentalist movements. Probably not for kids, unless you're actually Dick Cheney. K2 is a very simple, incredibly competitive game about racing to the top of K2, aka Savage Mountain, aka the mountain with the highest fatality to summit rate in the world. A game where when I lost a mountaineer who froze to death in his tent in a blizzard, I felt like crying. And I'm 26. Probably not for kids unless your kids are tougher than me, which wouldn't be hard to be honest. Archipelago is a game where players are European colonists trying to scratch out a profit from a South Pacific island chain, simultaneously working alone to develop the island and working together to make sure they're not killed in a violent uprising. Probably not for kids unless you're actually Queen Victoria, which I really hope you're not because that would be weird. Very quickly, board games start to look like a much more reasonable thing to do with your time. Whether you're invested in heavy chess-like strategy that'll let you best your friends, whether you want to have fun without drinking, or whether you want to have much more fun while drinking, there is a game out there for everybody, and that includes you. Here are a couple of pretty much perfect games that you could probably have an incredible time with no matter who you are. The Resistance is a game that pitches you and your friends as an underground resistance cell. With no taking turns, no dice, not even a board, you and your friends just have to decide which of you will go on missions. With the twist that secretly around the table is a team of spies. The spies know who one another are, but the good guys don't know who anybody is, and as teams start coming back with the news that someone anonymously sabotaged the plan, you'll start distrusting your closest friends. It's just 45 minutes of your friends accusing, lying, theorizing, I trust him, I don't trust her, sometimes getting little powers like one player must show one other player what side they're on. Until at the end, one team wins or loses and all hell breaks loose as you find out your girlfriend was lying to your face the whole time. Or did I get you wrong? Maybe your idea of a good time isn't lying to your friends' faces, maybe you're not the confrontational type. In which case, say hello to Tales of the Arabian Nights. Tales of the Arabian Nights is a storytelling game where you and your f It's probably racist, isn't it? Where you and your friends will just be telling stories together. Do you remember those choose your own adventure books you had as a kid? This is like the mother of all of those, using an incredibly clever system of cards and this ludicrous book and matrixes, you will have you will have stories which are different every single time, from rescuing princess to being lost and befuddled by genies in the European seas, to fighting to getting your way out of problems with luck and guile. You have no idea what's going to happen when you start Arabian Nights, but you and your friends will have an unbelievable time just 
telling stories together. And yeah, while it's possible to win, that doesn't matter like so many board games these days. Uh, I don't think it's coming out. Ollie, what, what, what is wrong with women? There's a kicker in an age where books, movies, video games, where ownership is becoming digital, board games give us something real to play with. Something you can just hold and collect. Because to be honest, holding a hand of cards feels just really good. This is the scene that your friend is part of. It's big, it's beautiful, and it's growing. Sales have been going up for the last 10 years. Now, because board gamers are generally a pretty awesome lot, if you're at all interested in this stuff, you should definitely talk to your friend about getting involved in a game. Alternatively, you could visit our site, Shut Up and Sit Down, which is susd.pretend-money.com for news, videos, reviews, and plenty of footage of grown men dressed as wizards. For some reason, what's wrong with us? I... Bye!